Hello and welcome to video two. The structure is going to be very similar to our first video. We are going to be starting with a warm up, then we will move on to a strengthening exercises and then followed by our cool down. Please make sure you are working at your level and taking regular breaks if needed. Please have water to hand and enjoy. In this video, we will start with some warm up exercises and then rest for one minute. We will follow with six strengthening exercises. Body weight squat, wall press, hip thrust, banded row standing, split squat and banded dead bug. For each exercise, you will be doing 10 repetitions. Please make sure you are slow and controlled throughout. Remember, to complete this workout, you will need a chair and elastic band. Then we will finish with some cool down stretches. So starting with our warm up, we are marching on the spot and doing our knee grabs. So this is marching, bringing your knee up towards your chest, holding it for a second and bringing it back down. Keep repeating this. Make sure you've got a flat back and your head is facing forward. Next we're moving on to our cat camel. So come down onto the floor, hands flat on the floor and knees on the floor like this. And all we're going to be doing is rounding and then arching our back, bringing our head up. You should be feeling this stretch all throughout your spine. Keep going. Have a slight rest. Roll those shoulders. And then we're going again, back onto all fours, rounding and arching our spine. there. Now moving on to the world's greatest stretch, staying on the floor with our hands flat on the floor, we're bringing our feet up towards our hands as close as we can to our hands. Hold for a second and then repeat with the other leg. Now we are moving on to bird dog. So again on the floor, raising the opposite arm to opposite leg, holding for a second and coming back to the other side. 
don't worry if you wobble a little bit on this one. Hopefully your balance will get better throughout the weeks. Keep going. Our last one is our multi-directional lunge. So on your feet, you are going to lunge forward, to the side, to the opposite side, back forward, and so on. Make sure you are keeping your chest up, facing forward at all times. Perfect. And finish. Our first exercise is our body weight squat. Make sure you are standing with your feet hip width apart, facing forward. Come down into a seated position as low as you can, making sure your back is flat and bending your knees. finish. Now moving on to our wall press. Put your hands flat against the wall with your feet slightly further away. Slowly press down in a press up position towards the wall making sure your body is straight throughout. To make this harder you can move further away from the wall or to make it easier you can move closer to the wall. Make sure you are doing this movement slowly. Our next exercise is our hip thrust. For this, you are going to need a chair or stable surface. Come down so that your upper back is flat on the chair and your feet are out in front. Thrust your hips up towards the ceiling and back towards the floor. Slow and controlled throughout. Nearly there. stop. Moving on to our banded row standing. For this you will need a band that you are going to put under your feet like this. Make sure you have a slight bend in your knees 
and bend at your hips with a nice flat back. Bring the band slowly up towards your chest and back down towards your feet. Keep your chest up and your head facing forward. Make sure your elbows are tucked in. Keep going. And stop. Next is our split squat. You're going to bring one foot forward and lunge down towards the floor. Making sure you have a 90 degree bend in both your front leg and back leg. Keep your back straight and head facing forward throughout. Once you've done 10 on one leg, move straight on to the next. Nearly there. And stop. Next is our banded dead bug. You are going to need your band around a secure post in your house. I have put mine around a door. Holding your arms up straight, lower your legs from a 90 degree angle flat onto the floor. Make sure you're not hitting the floor as you come down and you are slow and controlled. Keep your tummy muscles tight and make sure you're breathing throughout. Take a quick break and then we will be going again for another 10. Halfway there. Keep going. Nearly there. And rest. Now we are moving on to our cool down stretches. We are starting with our pigeon stretch. So come onto the floor, bringing one foot bent out in front and the other straight out behind. Back straight, just holding that stretch there. We are going to be holding these stretches for about eight to 10 seconds. Swap legs. Perfect. Now we are moving on to our hip stretch. So bring one leg forward and the other leg on the floor like this. So stretch forward slightly so you can feel this in your hips. Keeping your back straight. Swap legs. 
make sure you get your balance. Now we are moving on to our hamstring stretch. So come up into standing, one leg bent and the other one straight out in front with our toe pointing towards the ceiling. Bring that toe closer to yourself to feel the stretch a little bit more. Keep your back straight, chest up and head facing forward. Next is our thoracic stretch. This is where you'll need your chair. Put your elbows onto the chair and your head in between the gap that we have created. All you're going to do is stretch out so you can feel this in your mid back. Rest and then go again. Our last stretch is our seated chest stretch. So sit on your chair, nice and upright, head facing forward. Bring your arms to your back and stretch out. So you should be able to feel this stretch along your chest. Relax and then go again. Roll those shoulders. Well done, you have now completed this video.